Hi guys, 18 Dap here and welcome to this episode of Comment of the Week. Let's get the video started. So guys, welcome to episode 44 of Comment of the Week. In this episode, we'll look through comments from the videos across the channel this week and I've chosen two to have a chat about. The first one comes in from Mark Varney. He says on episode 43, Great work, Dan. Bit of a controversial question. The teams that go down from the Championship will play nine games more than the teams in League One, meaning that they will have a shorter rest period uh, between the two seasons. Um, what is your opinion? Is that not a huge disadvantage for the relegated Championship clubs? And it's something that I've not really thought about. Um, last week, League One, League Two got curtailed, um, put on a points per game basis. Rovers finished ninth, so our season is over. And we're looking at preparing for the 2021 season. Um, but the Championship and Premiership start today. Um, the Premier League, two games today. And they're finishing the season. So, yeah, they've, they've got to play out their season. They're going to have a, a shorter rest period between the two seasons. I think it could go either way. For the Rovers players, they've not played football in three months. Um, it'll be even longer by the time that they get back up and running so the match fitness the match sharpness won't be there whereas the championship clubs um, who come down they're more likely to have that match fitness um, and be more game ready so it might be an advantage coming towards the end of the season there may be a bit of fatigue um, but who knows but yeah it's a it's a tough one I think the whatever was decided across the top leagues should have gone all the way through or because half of League 1 and 2 was being curtailed, I think all of the leagues should have been curtailed. It should have been one or the other for everything. But money talks, unfortunately, in football. Um, and the money is in the Premier League and Championship, so they're getting to finish. We didn't. And on that, congratulations to Coventry and Rotherham for their promotion. Um, and playoffs, one to watch, I think, is Fleetwood in that. So thank you for that comment, Mark. Um, like I say, it could be a disadvantage in terms of fatigue towards the end of the season, but it could be an advantage at the start of the season because they'll be game ready, whereas other teams will have had a very long rest period, so it'll take them a little bit of time to get back up and running to full speed. The next comment comes from Paul Falwell Blue Nose. Um, again, in episode 43, he said, Great video, Dan. Loved it. My two questions are, one, what is your favourite Doncaster game you've been to this season? And number two, will the Donny FIFA 20 career mode? series be continuing throughout the summer up until the release day of FIFA 21 so question two yes it will be it'll continue until FIFA 21 comes out hopefully we'll get into the Premier League um, and then when FIFA 21 comes out we'll look at reformatting that so we get through seasons a little bit quicker than what we have this year only got through three seasons I'd like to get through four or five um, if possible but it'll look at rejigging the format that we do those videos in and my favourite Doncaster game I've been to this season has to be Rotherham at home winning 2-1 it's always nice to win against your rivals but as I said earlier in the video congratulations to their promotion um, I do like to see local clubs doing well just not when we play them and that 2-1 victory was very very nice to watch um, and Coppinger's celebration that will live long in the memory running up to the away fans arms out wide fantastic so that's my favourite game of the season that's just finished thank you for that comment too paul and that is it for this video if you've enjoyed it big thumbs up for us please comment in the section down below there's not many left of these videos um, and subscribe if you haven't already we are still on the road to 2000 subscribers and all that's left for me to say is thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one